What's up guys, it's your boy Palacio. Today's movie review is going to be over Toy Story 4. Um, so this movie came out June 21st, I want to say, and I'm sorry for getting to this movie review so late, but um, I just had a couple things going on in life, you know, life happens. And um, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. So everybody knows Toy Story. Um, they can do no wrong with Pixar. Uh, they make some of the greatest animation movies that have ever come out. I mean, the list goes on and on as far as uh, great films that they have. Toy Story 4 is obviously more for kids, but I think that everybody, um, all age groups can watch this, especially me. I grew up um, watching Toy Story and all those uh, Disney and Pixar um, animation movies. I would usually call it lazy for them to just keep on, um, you know, pulling out sequels left and right. But um, I think when it comes to Toy Story 4 and, um, you know, Lion King movies and all that, um, it's okay as long as you make the individual film great and you kind of... Don't just try to piggyback off of um, the fan um, the fan love from the original movies. Toy Story 4 um, by itself, I think, can be a great movie, and you don't have to watch necessarily the uh, the first three in order to enjoy this film. I was born in 95, and obviously I watched the first couple um, Toy Stories. I didn't see the third one until a couple days ago because I wanted to um, see the whole franchise so I can give this a proper review. And... Um, <clears throat> I gotta say guys that this movie was made very well. Um, the storyline is great. They do a great job with that. They have all the original characters. Um, I know that Mr. Potato Head, the voice actor, he passed away before they can make this film. And what uh, Pixar did was they took his voice from the first three films and then rendered it so he could be the actual voice for the fourth film instead of getting another um, voice actor to play Mr. Potato Head. And I think just small things like that that Disney does just shows how much they care about these movies and they know how much they mean to people. So kudos to Pixar and Disney for doing that. With these movies, um, obviously that they give new fans a good storyline, but they also bring the old fans in. Um, and bring it back to all the nostalgia that they had for the first couple films when you were growing up and I think they do a really good job at impacting emotionally the um, the importance of what these characters feel even though they're just toys and you know bringing back all those childhood memories that you had when you were a kid they do a very good job on that it was really hard to see Woody leave the rest of the characters um, Buzz and Slinky and Rex and all of those um, the original cast members for uh, for the first Toy Story and um, you know it's a good send-off if they want to stop making the movies it was just a good good send-off and if they want to stop making the Toy Story movies just after this movie then they um, they left it at a good spot to end um, certainly they can expand on it they have uh, Bo Peep and then Woody um, doing their own thing with a couple new characters if they want they can make more films with with those characters or they can you know go back to the original characters with Buzz and all that and I think they just left it uh, at a good spot at the end. As far as CGI work and animation and all that, this movie is incredible. Um, and I expect nothing less from, you know, the biggest uh, movie producers that there is in the, as far as animation goes, you know. All the details that they put uh, as far as rendering the characters and everything, they just do such a good job and you can expect nothing less. And it's just a very pleasing uh, movie to watch as far as, a, you know, a common moviegoer or a kid or even an expert moviegoer. I'm not an expert by any means, but I think that um, this movie as a whole gets a great rating, whether it be from IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. As far as the script goes, you know, it's very, it's very uh, cut and dry. They do a good job. They have a task for a character. He has trouble completing that task. They ask for help from the other characters and they complete the task. Toy Story and all the um, the Disney and Pixar um, animations, they always do a solid job. They have so many people working on these films. It's kind of hard to do a poor job on these films because they know how important it is and how much money they can make from, from all these films. As far as the ranking for this film, I'd give it a solid 8.8. .8. Um, it's a high B because um, you could watch this movie several times, but I don't think that I would call it a classic. Um, Toy Story 1, Lion King... Um, all of those movies, Emperor's New Groove, um, you know, just uh, classic kids movies. Um, I don't think that this would rank up into being a classic, but I think over time it'll be um, it'll be one of the movies that people continue to watch as far as Disney and Pixar and all of that. If I'm going to rank all of the Toy Story movies, I would say that probably Toy Story 3 is uh, last, then it would be Toy Story 2, then this movie, and then Toy Story 1. 
um, Toy Story 1 is just fantastically made and you can't have a film franchise without the first film. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to bring this movie review to a close. If you watch this the whole way through, I appreciate it very much for taking the time to listen to me. You know, I'm just one guy who enjoys movies and uh, reviewing them with you guys. So if you have any movies that you want me to review specifically, please let me know. I'll put my Instagram somewhere up here. You could DM me or you uh, could comment below. I appreciate you guys so much for listening. Don't forget to go to the gym and lift something heavy. Peace.